Oh hi, it's Steve again. Uh, another part on the BMW. Got a lot of stuff finished off now, which is really good. I know it doesn't look like much, but there's tons and tons of little things to make the go. Anyway, there's been just about done. Um, thanks for continuing to watch, and I uh, hope you've, anybody's been getting stuff out of it. So, uh, we'll just keep on going. This is the mock up of the oil tank we're about to start making. And this is where it will fit in the car. It's not exactly the way it's going to be there. I'm going to uh, just be a little bit better held in position like that. But there we are. There is my finished uh, oil catch tank. It's just a touch over three litres in capacity. Has to be over three litres for the size engine. And there it is. I'll uh, start bolting it, in, bolting it into the car now. I'm just making myself an airbox gasket at the moment so we got to the stage where the airbox can actually be finally fitted. Uh, no I didn't get a gasket with it, I don't know if there's one available but I'm not waiting to find out, I'm just making one. There is the airbox finally fitted and it's uh, like fitted for good, no more test fits or anything like that. The uh, caskets I made the gasket it's on as you saw before and uh, we'll bolt it up so we're getting closer to the dyno had all of this off before put new spark plugs in it because I'd only ever start on the plug that I had with the engine so they've been fitted um, so there's a couple of little bits and pieces there but uh, getting very close to the dyno
And that little section that I've just rolled up and uh, rolled up, welded together and painted, and this is it just in here. So it just steps from this here is about 19 mil, and the um, inlet in the filter is 100. So I just needed to make that little step to fit into there. So that's uh, that's that part. So the clutch and brake pedal and accelerator uh, biasing is all in. The cylinders are over the back. And there's the actual... <coughs> over the back and there is the actual hoses. The black hoses are the supply to the cylinders. Then the braided high pressure lines are going to each front and then rear and clutch. And up here to the handbrake, that is um, this one here is the supply from the uh, front of the car, which is when you put your foot in the brake, you're getting positive pressure there, which is transferred through to that one, and that just continues down, and that's connected through the little, rear little uh, bulkhead there, which then branches off, be off behind that and uh, goes between the fuel tank and the um, the body and out to the wheels. Hydraulic handbrake is actuated there like so. It still has the mechanical handbrake which is there which is good for legal reasons. Um, in Victoria where I'm going to run the car you have to have a mechanical handbrake so this car still maintains a mechanical handbrake but also has the hydraulic handbrake. Well, the brakes have bled and the clutch has bled, so I'm about to put the wheels on it, start it up and drive it for the very first time.